We're here at the International Reading Association Conference in Atlanta with author Melanie Christmer. Hi, Melanie. Hey there, how are you? Good. And Melanie, you have three lovely Phoebe Clack Saddle books. Thank you. Thank Can you, you tell me a little bit about them? First, I just had the one Phoebe Clap saddle and the Tumbleweed Gang. So I just made up some stories using my great, 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 great mm -hmm. aunt's name. And so I had a lot of fun with Phoebe. And then the three Tumbleweed Gang are really based on all the little boys that I used to play with in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Because they always used to torment me since I was a little bit of a prissy girl. And Phoebe and the Tumbleweed Gang won the Golden Spur Award, is that right? Yes, in 2005. I and Phoebe continues her adventure. Yes, she does. In the second book, Phoebe Claps Saddle for Sheriff, uh, we have a situation where Phoebe has everything under control, but when you have three low-down, good-for-nothing cowpokes in the territory, it's not gonna stay under control for long. And we have a new school teacher coming to town. Phoebe has to greet this new school teacher, Miss Harriet Hornswoggle. <laughs> now things get out of control, and the tumbleweed are part of that and Phoebe, well, she can handle that just like any Southern Belle and Southwestern Cowgirl combined could, but she also becomes friends with a new school teacher and turns over the schooling of the tumbleweed gang to her. Wonderful. It also uh, allows Phoebe to continue as the acting territory sheriff. So that's kind of neat because she gets to wear her grandpappy's star. Oh, so very nice. nice. I also dedicated this one to my sheriff my husband. Oh. So that was kind of nice. Very nice. And the third book is Phoebe Clap Saddle Has a Tumbleweed Christmas. And really, um, I got the idea for this book from two things. We used to travel to the area that I talk about, the territory out in the Big Bend area, at Christmas time mostly because. At that time, it's not quite as hot out in that territory. You get to see a little bit of snow. The tumbleweeds don't have sand fleas at that time. And also, at this point in the story, I also realized that Pelican had a lot of Christmas books. So there was marketing and memories in this one. <laughs> so I decided we needed a, a Christmas book out there. And in this one, there's a mule mail mix-up in the territory. Things are so slow and different out there in the territory that there isn't even a Pony Express. Mule, mule mail is delivered, not Pony Express mail. So Phoebe's very excited. She yee-haws when she gets any mail. And it's Christmas time, so she has a package. Very nice. The website will give them a little information about me some information about my books, obviously, and a few of my always available handouts and information and helpful hints at the school corner. That's one of the links on my website. But if they will also go to the contact me section, that will immediately email me and they can just say, can you send me some information from your IRA presentation? I'll immediately send them any of their requested information on that tall tale presentation. Delighted to. I want to be a benefit. Wonderful. So they can stop by www.melaniechrismer.com and find all the information and hear you say howdy as they log on. That's right. Be sure to turn on the audio because you'll see, hear me say howdy. <laughs> and of course they could also visit the Pelican website www.pelicanpub.com to get the study guide for the Phoebe Clap Saddle books and other information as well. That's right. Anything you need, Pelican Publishing Company is an excellent company. They published my first book, which won the TSRA Golden Spur in 2005. They continue to support me, and I just have to say, they have a wonderful collection of children's books and adult books, and if you are not satisfied with a Melanie Christmer, I bet you you'll find another one that's great for you. So please check them out too. Well, I cannot imagine someone not being satisfied with Phoebe Clapsaddle and Melanie Crismer. But thank you for taking the time to interview with us, Melanie. It was a delight, Caitlin. You are a great school sales rep. Thank you. Thank you.